Hey guys, what's going on? This is Athava here and back with a new video on the channel. I know it's been a while and I always say that and I keep struggling with consistency. So I don't even have any way to justify my actions this time around. So just feel free to roast me in the comment section or whatever. So in this video, we're going to look at better T stack. Better T stack is a way for you to quickly scaffold your application without just writing boilerplate code all over again. And one thing I keep thinking about is that AI really struggles with boilerplate code. Sometimes it gets the pieces wrong and it's the most frustrating part is because that's supposed to be the most simplest part of your application. It takes a long time to do that. So just imagine you have a Next.js application, you have a bunch of different things, you have a package manager, you have a runtime, you have databases, you have authentication, all of these pieces you need to put together to create your boilerplate. And from there you write your application logic. Sometimes it can take a long time to do that, or you can simply just create templates and do that, but it quickly gets outdated because nowadays things are changing rap very rapidly. So here's where Aman, the creator of better T stacks comes in clutch. He made a wizard where you can select your stack and exactly clone it and all of the pieces work really well together. So in this video, we're going to see how you can use better T stack and we're going to inspect the project it scaffolds for you. And I'm going to share my opinion at, at the end of the video. So yeah, let's get started. All right. So we are at better T stack dot dev. It says roll your own stack in very big fonts. And I like this. Is this a font? I, yeah, I don't think it's font. It's like literally terminal like kind of thing here. Uh, which is pretty amazing. It says modern CLI for scaffolding end-to-end -end types of projects. And uh, then we have a CLI command and we have a stack builder. Only one feedback I have about this homepage. Like um, I know Aman will be watching this video. So if you are open to feedback, this kind of feels like it takes a bit of while to find this. So like uh, for research of this video, I was going, looking through the homepage and find the wizard. It takes a bit of a while, but, but it's fine because all the other work you are doing on better T stack is really amazing. <laughs> Let's go ahead and click on start. And now we have this wizard where you can have your project name. So I can simply say something like, test project in this case. And then we have our web front end, which is by default tan stack router. You can use tan stack start, which is my current favorite, or you can use Next.js. I won't recommend using Next.js with better T stack. I will explain in a bit why, but you can also go down to native front end and you will see that you can, if you want to use Na react native, you can do that. In backend, you can use Hono and Next.js again, and all the other stuff, convex express. And in runtime, you can use bun node, Cloudflare workers, not really a fan of Cloudflare workers, to be honest, but it is what it is. Then API, you can set up TRPC. All of these things work together really well. And uh, for databases, you can choose whatever you want, file based SQLite, or you can even use Postgres. It's a lot of different things you can do here. And even for authentication, you can choose better auth. For package manager, you can use bun. So for example, if I don't want to use bun for runtime, so yeah, you can also use Node.js or bun for the runtimes. So if you don't want to use bun as a runtime, but you want to use bun as a package manager, you can also do that. And uh, yeah, all of these are switchable. One thing I want to note about Next.js specifically, there is one problem in better T stack is that if you choose web fronted and Next.js, and if you choose, uh, where is the backend part? Uh, backend as Next.js, this is not going to be one Next.js application. This is not going to spin up a Next.js application with API routes and front end everything. It's not going to do that. It's going to deploy, it's going to make two separate Next.js applications. One is going to be the backend, one is going to be front end, which I really do not like. And I have been bugging him in DM for a very long time to get that fixed. And I'm really, I'm sure he's working on it. Uh, he mentioned that it's very messy to get that right. And I trust him on that. And hopefully this gets sorted one day. But yeah, for now, I would just use Hono as a backend and Next.js as a front end. Or maybe I could just use both and then manually add the front end to the Next.js itself, whatever works for you guys. But yeah, uh, I'm just going to rock with the tan stack router and Hono backend right now. And um, runtime should be no TRPC, SQLite is fine, Drizzle ORM. And here, no cloud to be set up. Perfect. And now better auth. Uh, all right. I think everything is fine. It's also using Turbo Repo. Uh, you can also use Thor if you want to build desktop applications. Uh, then you can choose if you want to initialize a Git repository, install dependencies and a lot of that stuff. So yeah, now we have this massive command. We just need to copy this and we can simply go to our terminal and paste this. It's just going to do its thing now. It's going to install everything. It's going to put all the pieces together and we should be able to use our project. All right, so let's go to test project and I'm going to go open this in cursor. All right, so I want to take a look at this structure. Of course, this is a turbo repo. You can see turbo.json and you can immediately tell it's a turbo repo. But if you go to apps, you can see server and web. The web should be a 10 stack router application uh, with wheat. 
So you have a lot of different things. You have routes and stuff, which is obviously based on Tanstack router. And then we have the server. And if we go to the SRC, you will find a lot of different stuff. You will find routers and a router uh, immediately reminds you of TRPC. So TRPC is already set up here. You can go to the index.ts file and you can see everything is set up. Even the better auth structure is set up slash API slash auth. So if we go to lib directory here and go to auth.ts, this is the better auth configuration. So yeah, everything is already done for you. Out of the box, you should be able to just go ahead and run something like bun dev to run this. All right, so if we go to localhost 3001, we get API status connected. And if we go back to our terminal, we see all the logs and stuff. Uh, it's calling a TRPC endpoint on the front end and it's also using the better auth get session methods. So if we take a look at the front end for a bit, we will see that we'll see that it's using health check dot ease loading. So it's health check is a TRPC thing. So we are using the use query hook, which is from react router. I'm pretty sure uh, react query. I'm pretty sure plan stack query. And then we are passing in the query options for the TRPC thing. It's usually a pain to set all of this up together and better T stack is coming in clutch to save you from all of that so that you can focus on building your application without worrying about a lot of different things like boilerplate and stuff. Just start building. <laughs> So yeah, that's it for this video. I really think that better T stack is really amazing and I'm thinking of using it for projects in the near tutorials. Since AI is really becoming great at what it does, I don't want to spend a lot of time just boilerplating everything in my tutorials. I just wanted one template which I can use and turns out I don't need to use a template. I can simply use better T stack with the configuration I need. The only problem is the Next.js problem. I hope it gets fixed. And if it gets fixed, better T-Stack is definitely going to be my go-to choice for all videos. Unless some video is like completely about boilerplate tutorials. Sometimes I do make videos like that. But yeah, what do you think about better T-Stack? Do you think it's going to speed up your process of building applications? Let me know down in the comments below. I'll leave Twitter account for Aman in the description below and also better T-Stack link in the description if you want to check that out. This video is not sponsored by the way at all. So yeah, if you have any suggestions about content, make sure you let me know. And yeah, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.